so you're hosting tonight, yes. correct? How did you get involved with it? You know what? They asked me and they said, you know, we have men that we can make fun of and put out there. And I said, right. absolutely, I'm in because it's always the women that are sexualized and all of that. And it's such a great cause. So I said, man, me, give me a microphone and I will take those efforts down. All right. We've talked to some of these bachelors who are going to be on stage tonight and some of them are a little nervous. Do you have <laughs> words of advice and words of advice for making the price go up? Uh, take your shirt off, do some push-ups, and show me your black Amex. <laughs> Definitely. See, that's good. You gonna you gonna tell them that? It's not bad. Yes, of course. How would you react to that? You think that that would encourage you? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> right? Without a doubt, it covers all the bases. Right. I'm like, of course. The one night I'm auctioning off all these vouchers. This is the first time I've had a boyfriend in like eight years. But it's like, I'm happy about it. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun experience yeah. for you. I will if not, it'll be a little bit, but I said don't even take anything I say seriously. So right, definitely. that's a fun it's night. Fun. It's, for, it's a great cause, yeah. and that's it. Definitely. Now this is a great cause, breast cancer research. Have you had a personal experience? Anyone do you know that's gone through this before? Well, both friends and family. My mother-in-law went through breast cancer, and I was with her like through every single treatment. And I recently, no, a couple of years ago, I had a cancer scare. I had a tumor removed, but it was. It was like non-cancer, so it's fine. But I have a ton of friends that I've like. It, it literally is. It, it affects everyone. Everyone I know has a story, and that's why whether it's not necessarily breast cancer, but it's like melanoma or skin cancer or anything, and it's it's affected my entire everything. So when they asked me to do it, I was like, absolutely, I would love to do it. No. Great. And now tonight's about health, and we're all about health at New You. Do you have health advice that you would give your young fans? Don't eat fast food like I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. If it's fried, don't eat it. No. Oh. I, I know. I mean, I, I told them, I said, watch the baby bump. Is there isn't actually a baby in there, but there's the bump. So, no, um, unfortunately, I do eat poorly, but I say, like, I, I'm aware of it. I think awareness is the number one situation. Like, if you can be aware of what you're doing wrong, then you know what to make right. But when you're not aware of it, that's the problem. True. Now, lastly, any beauty trends you're loving, makeup, as we head into summer? Yes. Um, <laughs> what am I? I'm loving them all. Like, I'm, I'm such a Sephora. Like, that's the one place I'm not allowed to go because I will spend all of my money. But I'm really loving this, like, thicker brow trend. I've tried to, like, do that tonight. It's, it's not as easy when they're thin and you're trying to, like, draw them on and whatnot. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit much. It, it's hard. You have to, like, redo it three times. But I'm, I don't know, I'm just loving, like, all the different, like, the eyelashes and everything that we can do to be a little bit, like, not... I don't know. I feel like we all, for a while, looked exactly the same, and I like that we all have a separate, different look now. It's fun to stand out, right. for sure. It is, a little bit. <laughs>